Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to customize the property editor settings in a South Blazor application. So for that we will use this documentation. This is the official documentation from Developer Express and we will try to follow along. So let's start. So create project and let's see. Right now my Visual Studio is a little bit slow, I don't know why, but let's work with that. So South Blazor and let's put that a coherent name. So this will be South Blazor. Um, detailed view property editor. <laughs> no, it's that's too long. Um, Saf Blazor Editor Settings. Okay, that's short. <laughs> okay, so let's create this. It will be an XPO standard authentication. Uh, well, I I wouldn't put any module right now. So and let's go back to the tutorial. So in here, basically what they tell you to do is that you have to create an object view controller for a detail view and your object type. In this case, they're doing it for contact. We will create our own class. We're not going to use contact. So, I mean, so it's easier. So then they ask you to do something. Basically on the activated, this is an event, but they also have a method for this. So here, what we need to do is invoke this method. Basically, this method, what is asking you, as I can see, is the property editor type. Um, I guess this is the owner, so uh, the, the controller owner. So you have to pass this. And then the method that is going to invoke when it's ready and the name of the property. And then in this method, basically what you do is you will get the property editor actually, and it will be this type, the type that we define here. And then we can do basically the changes that we need. So let's work with this. Okay, so I think the solution is ready. So let's compile this. And let's add a business object. So new domain object, and this will be customer. I always use the same object and we'll have a name. And birth date, date of birth. Okay, so let's run this one time and let's see uh, how the editor looks for this data and property. This is going to be a really short video, I think. It's like, it will take like two minutes, I think. But anyway, it's good to try this. So you get to know the design patterns of Blazor. Okay, let's do admin. And let's see. Okay, let's create a new one. And this will be my brother, Rocco. Okay. And see how the calendar looks like. It's like basically like a drop down with the calendar. And in the tutorial, they show a different calendar. So let's do that. So let's save this and let's close. Okay, uh, let's go back to the documentation. Uh, basically in here, what you need to do is to create this controller, but this controller needs to be created in the Blazor module. There is one reason for that, that see the namespaces that we're going to use. And also at one moment you need this class, the adapter. And that is only for the Blazor property editors, or at least at the moment it's only for the Blazor property editor because the design pattern of the property editors for Blazor is a Blazor type of design pattern. It's not the same as Windows Forms or Web Forms. So 
let's take this class and let's change it a little bit so let's come here controller in here I'm not going to add a controller I'm going to add a simple class because I have the code already in the clipboard so new item class and all the time that I paste code here I lose code rush it stopped working so let's see how it goes let's see well it didn't break so that's good so let's import the name spaces and this is not a partial class this is a full class we don't have initialized components because there is no designer so let's delete that and well uh, this is not working yet so let's try to open it again and maybe code rush start working and no well what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name spaces from here so this should work so in this case this is not contact this should be <coughs> customer and well I cannot resolve the namespace so let's close the studio sorry for that that happens to me a lot I think I need to to format my computer again I used to do it really often but I don't do it that often anymore I used to do it like every month <laughs> uh, okay we're back so let's see Ah, good. Uh, this is already working. See, little view is green now. So here we just need to import the namespace. Yeah, and this namespace we don't need. It doesn't exist. Okay, let's import this. Come on, come on. Okay, there you go. Okay, and here this will be instead of contact and birthday, it will be customer and date of birth. So <clears throat> that's basically it. I'm going to rename the controller, rename file to match the type, save this. So when, uh, when I execute this, basically um, this, this is an extension method. Um, this will be executed and then we'll execute the set calendar view and here I will get the instance of the property editor and the property editor you know that each property editor have to expose a control that control can be a developer express control or any control for .NET in general but in the design pattern of Blazor you use the adapter methodology so in here you want to get the control and from the control you need to get the adapter and we will get it in here so in this case, what we're going to do, once we have the adapter, we're going to set the display mode to scroll picker. So it's like really simple. Actually, I really like this methodology. But in this case, I, you cannot share this code, I think, with between Windows Forms and Web Forms and Blazor. I, I don't know if this is an extension only for Blazor, but I will find out that a little bit later when I double check the documentation. So let's run this so let's do admin let's go and check my brother and what happened ta -ta -ta -ta, 12 f12 what is the error mm -hmm is a casting problem so let's see when do we need to do the casting daytime property editor everything looks fine here so it must be this line so let's run this again and let's see what happened this is supposed to be an easy video but you know how it is So maybe let's do a new one and let's see what happened. Okay, what we have here in the control, we have DX 
edit date edit adapter date time yeah this looks like it's the same why it cannot be casted exception so let's put this in a try catch and try to understand what happened so I always do this then I do exception and then I do bar test equal x message that is super ugly but I've been doing that since I was like I don't know like 23 years old when I started in .NET so <clears throat> Let's see what's happening here. It looks like it's an, an invalid casting. Maybe it's because of this, but let's try to run this again and see what happened. Because I don't know if data and annullable daytime should be the same type of property, but let's see. Well, I didn't declare the birthday like annullable so maybe it's that yeah it was that okay let me explain you what happened in general the problem was that if we go and check the code the code is here uh, in here the casting is to a daytime that is nullable and if I check my code um, date of birth is not nullable, so then the casting was wrong. That's why it was throwing an exception, and then the application broke. So it's just about setting the correct data type in general. And well, I will put this um, this source code in GitHub. It will be in a public repository, so you can go and check it. And that's everything for this video, guys. So take care and see you in the next video.